everyone. Nice to meet you again. Our today's topic is what's money. I want to speak about money and say it some words about this term. But first I want to introduce you some vocabulary about money. The first word money, special pieces of paper. The second word land, to give something to someone for a short period of time. The third word borrow, to get or receive something from someone. Four, wallet, a small folding case for carrying paper, money, credit, credit cards or other flat objects. Fifth word, cash point, a brand name for a cash machine. Uh, you can see this uh, cash machine uh, near the market where you live or uh, near, near your street and uh, maybe next to the bank. Pay, to give money to someone for something you want to buy or for services provided. Uh, when you go to somewhere and buy something, uh, you should pay for it with money. Fee, an amount of money aid for a particular piece of work or for a particular right or service. Spend money, to give money as a payment for something. Uh, when you pay money for something, it means that you spend money. Save money to keep money. Maybe you can keep your money in the bank or uh, at home or where you, you consider that there is a safe place, you can uh, save your money there. Fair, the money that you pay for a journey in taxi, bus, train and age. Now our term what's money and I want to give you useful advice on money. Money is coins or not special pieces of paper that are used to buy things or an amount of these that a person has. Of course, money is a thing that uh, help us to buy something what we need or want. Every one of you can earn money. Even you are a child. Your parents may pay you money for doing house choosing or doing something for them. And if you have money, you can uh, save it in the bank or maybe you can uh, pay for the bills or uh, maybe you can uh, spend it for something or go to the market or go to the shopping uh, center and uh, buy something for yourself. Now our exercise about money. Uh, in this exercise, we match the words with their definitions. The first word, earn money, it means that to get money by working. Second word, borrow money, to get money from somebody. Lend money, to uh, give somebody money. Pay money, this means that to uh, use money. Withdraw money, to take money out of a bank account and spend money, it means that to use money. Okay, now our answers. As you see, there's answer, earn money to get money by working and others. Now, uh, I want to give you useful advice on money. Mindfulness when spending money. When you spend money, first you know why you spend your money. The second, identify your triggers. Learn how to budget. And four, automate your bills. Now, uh, six tricks to stop shopping. When you don't have the money, unsubscribe from store mails, for example. You can avoid window shopping. Uh, you can keep a wish list. Uh, the fourth, don't browse online when bored or sad. Uh, fifth, budget for fun money. Sixth, always use cash. Now our today's idioms about money. The first idioms, money doesn't grow on trees, means that money is limited. She told her son that she couldn't have the new game since money doesn't grow on trees. Time is money. This means that time is valuable, so don't waste it. I like to get to work early each day since time is money. Now uh, I want to introduce you our grammar. Our today's grammar is about verb. What verb is the experience, is the action, is the state or event? 
and there are many types of verbs, transitive, intransitive, linking verbs, helping verbs, but I uh, want to speak about regular and irregular verbs. And there are some action verbs as you see, for example, walk, run, write, sit down, stand up, fight, laugh, read, play, listen, cry, sing. Uh, these verbs uh, is also divided into two parts in, in the past simple, regular and irregular verbs. Verb has three forms, base form, past form and past participle form. What's regular in irregular forms? When we add ed, uh, suffix ed, at the end of the verb, it's called regular verb. When we change the root of the verb, it's called the irregular verb. For example, regular verb arrive, in the past form arrived and in the past participle form arrived. And irregular verb in the base form drink, past form drank and past participle form drunk. We can use this sentence in affirmative, interrogative and negative form. Uh, I worked in affirmative uh, when interrogative form did I work and in negative form, I didn't work. You worked, interrogative, did you work? And the negative, you didn't work. He worked, did she work? He didn't work, and others. As we know that in every uh, tense form has its keywords or adverbs, also past simple has its keywords. For example, we use time expressions such as yesterday, last night, last week, uh, last month or year, in 1990, a day before yesterday, ago and age. Now I want to introduce you exercise about past simple. Complete the sentences with a past simple form of the verbs in brackets after write the same sentences in a negative form. The first sentence, I to play piano when I was a child, my father. Uh, the first word, uh, learn. Learn. Uh, as we know, this is also irregular verb, and we must write learned. Okay. First word learned, and the second word taught. This is also irregular verbs. In the second sentence, he sold and change uh, from the root because this is irregular verb, and the second word bought. In the third sentence, my grandmother fell uh, on the pavement and broke her arm. And uh, in the fourth sentence, when I was a child, I lived in the countryside and walked. This is uh, regular verbs. These are regular verbs. And thieves. I was uh, on a special diet last week. I only ate fruit and drank water. In the sixth sentence, go and see also irregular verbs and uh, they changed from the root. Go changed from to went and see so I went to a concert last night and saw two really good bands and uh, our home task our home task is divided into two parts and I'll give two questions to you as the first question how can I understand credit and debt and the second question when might I need to borrow money you uh, should also do your exercise from your books and read the passage from your books at page 66. Goodbye, my dear students, and thank you for watching.